Hello all, my name is Vinay Kumar and today I am going to talk about how we can create custom audit tools in JDeveloper 12C. So I am going to create uh, an extension, extension application which will, in which we will have the custom rules and we will test whether we are violating the rules or not. So before setting up the workspace for the extension project, we need to install that extension SDK. So we just need to go to the help, go to the check for updates. okay so here we have to type extension so we are going to search for the extension SDK but in my case I have already installed that so I am not going to get it again if you want to check whether you have installed extension SDK or not you just go to help go to about and go to extensions and here it will show all the extension which is installed by the JDeveloper so I will just want to search extension and yes, we have the extension SDK installed in JDeveloper 12C. Okay, so I'm going to create a new application. We we'll go to file, new application, and this is the extension application. And if you if you see that it creates an uh, application with single project that is pre-configured for building an extension for the JDeveloper. So I'm going to click OK here and I'm going to give a name and I have already created an extension application and it's called as audit sample and the default structure of this application is as follows if you can see we will have a uh, that properties file uh, which will uh, contains the labels and we have the extension.xml and manifest.mf file so I'm going to talk about all the files one by one and then we can proceed further Okay, and this is the custom file I've created, uh, which is extended the analyzer class, and in which we have written the rule. We are checking whether uh, we are violating the rule or not. So I'm going to talk about it later. So first, uh, we will talk about these files. So this is the properties file, and if we look at this, uh, it contains all the extension name. I mean, the, this is the project name, and uh, this some label and the messages we are, and this is the rule we have defined so we have defined two rules here and here we are defining label message and the description what we want to show the another file we have that extension.xml and if you go to the source overview and uh, here we can define the dependencies and the hook I mean which rule we want to hook with the extension.xml so we, we can define that so in this case if we go to the under the trigger hook we have the triggers and there we will have an audit hook and we have defined the two rules here and another file uh, the, dip, the all the jars which we put as the dependencies it will come automatically in manifest.mf file and it's also have some properties as well okay so we are going to create a rule here which uh, we are checking whether we should not use any system dot out dot print ln or system dot exit statement in our java class so we are going to write up some code here so i'm creating a java file which is extending analyzer class here as you can see we have the analyzer class the, the important thing about the analyzer class is it have it have some uh, default methods which will fetch all the rules and the metrics defined for this rule so I'm going to look at the analyzer class I will just go to that analyzer class and here we have the analyzer class it have some some default methods so whether it's uh, they are checking whether the rule is enabled or not we can also set through set enabled or not and the two important methods we have get rules so when on the startup of the uh, id it check it will register all the analyzer we have defined in our application and for each analyzer if visitor method fetch all the rules for each analyzer and it will scan all the instances of it and then it will check all the rules whether it's violating or not and uh, we have two visitor method called enter and exit method we have already defined that here i'm just using exit method as of now so there are two uh, visitor method called enter and exit which will go to each uh, each document statement attribute or element and it will check whether it's violating any rule or not if yes 
they will report to the content so i'm going to uh, look at the analyzer class here so we have some method get tool get metrics is enabled and so on so all whatever the analyzer we are creating for creating a custom order tool it should be extended through analyzer class okay so now we are defining two rules here we can define rule like private rule system or dot out dot users and the important thing we are putting up a uh, annotation here it's java annotation called extension resource and here we are defining uh, project name and the root id and the important thing is uh, this id should match in the extension or XML when we want to hook our application i mean when we want to hook our rule into that application so there are the two different rule id we are defining here so we have created two rule here then and we have put the annotation as a, then this rule is uh, is the resource of the extension project and as i've already taught they are the two visitor method it in uh, in the analyzer class in in fact analyzer class is also extended from another class called audit context uh, which is uh, uh, if we talk about the jdeveloper audit framework which itself uh, getting up some uh, default methods called enter and exit and these method will go to each uh, it it take two parameters called uh, one is the constructor constructor i mean the construct statement and the another one is a or context so here we are passing uh, this is the audit context so this is the information for the audit framework we have and this here we are passing up the construct so here we can also pass as document element attribute source class and source method so here i am passing as a source expression statement and we are we are checking whether we are using some system dot out dot or system dot add or system dot exit and if yes uh we have audit context class if you look at the audit context class here we have some methods for get auditor get model uh, get node and so on and uh, the important thing is we are here we have to set up a key to initialize the audit context here and the important thing is i, I want to show the report method report method is is a method which will report uh, some violation of some rules or the matrix to the and uh, to the framework so here we are reporting that uh, rule have been violated and it's reporting to the audit context so we are just so we are using here exit method we can also use enter or exit method and so on okay now we have created a java file we have to hook this rule into that extension dot xml so i'm just going to the extension dot xml we have already created the dependencies these are the some uh, required dependencies you can create just click it here searches and you can click ok so i'm going to hope go to the source and the important thing is uh, uh, the category definition is basically the display name of the uh, rule when we go to the uh, preferences and audit and profile and here we are uh, setting up the rule definition so this is the id we have uh, this is the same id which we are defining into that uh, annotation so it should be match and here we are defining that the category should be java and it's enabled and uh, see waiting and be warning so we there are the four options where we can define these warnings i mean we have advise assist and so on so it will show on the compile time if we don't set it as error otherwise it will not going to compile it and uh, the important thing the java file which we have created we are hooking up as the analyzer definition and we are mapping analyzer class here as java analyzer so we have created two rules here and for these two rules we have uh, hook up uh, we have mapped a analyzer class as in, in analyzer definition and uh, we already create some label here in the properties file now what we have to do is uh, we just <coughs> i click here on it i just uh, just to be on the safer side i will create a make extension dot jpr okay everything went fine i i now i need to deploy it to the target platform <coughs> i done that and now i will click on the run extension
now uh, what will happen when we click on the run extension a new the new instance of the gdeveloper will open now and it will have uh, the profile uh, it will have the extension in audit profile which we have created just now so we can test on that jdeveloper instance whether our rules what we have created it's working fine or not so we'll, we are going to test ok a new jdeveloper instance is going to open now Now we we already opened a new instance of the JDeveloper, so we are going to create a new application to test our audit tool. So we will go to new application and I will create some ADF application. Click OK here. Okay, I will just say finish. So it will take all the default values. So I'm going to write a Java file. Okay, so I will create another application. Something went wrong. I will take the default values here. So I'm going to write a Java file in which I will write some system.out or system.exec method and we will check whether we are getting some warning from the framework or not. Java class. Okay. I'm going to Okay, now we can see we can we are getting two warning here uh, if we The warning is telling we should not use system dot out dot and system dot air and similarly same here we should not use system dot right here and if we uh, click on the uh, yellow balloon and it will ask for that sub whether we should suppress this warning or not if we click yes and yes we have suppressed this warning and now we will not get any warning here and you can also say suppress so we can also suppress the warning we are getting here and the important thing is uh, the rules we have created we can also make sure that uh, we can go to tools preferences and audit profile and if you we can see we this is the same project we have created just now and it's coming here and we have the celebrity project deadline system dot exist or not so in this way, uh, we can create the custom audit tools in JDeveloper Tool C. Thanks for watching. Please give your feedback. Thank you.